I'm Andrew Horton from Stoke Stainless Limited and I'm here today to introduce to you our wood-fired hot tub and show you how it operates. So all our hot tubs are constructed the same, so that's the wood-fired hot tub, the gas hot tub and the electric hot tub. Um, they all have the same you know, facade, they're all made stainless steel, they're all made very solidly. As you can see with my wood-fired one here, they're on um, four solid skids. You should be able to see those um, underneath. All hot tubs come standard with that. So you can basically have it on any terrain that you prefer. Right, so uh, water connection, uh, very simple. So as you can see, this is uh, my own tub and it's been hard plumbed in. You can do the same yourself. Or the other thing you can simply do is just put your, your trusty old garden fitting onto the, onto the fitting that uh, the tub comes standard with. And then you can just connect your hose on, your normal garden hose, uh, onto that, turn the water on, and you're good to go. So very simple. Now it's time to light the fire. You need to make sure that the ball cock's done its job by following the hot tub to the right height, that being above the burner. Now as long as it's 20 mils, 25 mils above the burner, that's fine. In this particular instance, it's, um, it's about 50 millimetre above it. So that's great, it's ready to light. And the burner being obviously this stainless steel firebox that you can see in the water here. Um, so make, that, make sure that's full, it's covered, and then we're ready to light the fire. So now it's time to light the fire. It's actually a simple process really. We simply undo these two black knobs. You slide the ash pan out. You check the ashes as to whether they need emptied or not. You don't necessarily need to empty them every time. You know, for me, I find I get five or six burns out of it before I need to empty it. Um, so come time to light it, you can either just use the trusty old newspaper like you do in your standard um, fire that you may have inside or your outdoor fire pit or something. Um, or you can use you know, your standard old um, fire starters, which uh, you can add, add that as well or just that just your normal fire starting means. You have your kindling on hand, which I have prepared over here. Um, so just, like, again, like any fire to light, the, the drier, the smaller you have your kindling um, to start it, the, the better it is. And you just place it um, over top of that fire starter material and um, sort of load up as many as you can. Um, doesn't have to be over the top. You obviously still need to push that drawer closed. Drop a bit down there. Um, obviously just use your matches and then you can light that while it's in that um, position. So you just light your paper or just your fire starter. Let that go, get going for a few seconds and then basically all you do is push that completely, completely home. Make sure it goes over your knobs. Now one thing to make sure is this vent is completely open. So make sure you've got that wide open, again like your fire inside. And then you just, while that's getting going, you take your knobs and you screw that back on. It's the last time you have to open that. And then you just basically leave that uh, to get going for a few minutes, like any fireplace, um, before you start to load the rest of your logs in. So now that you've, uh, you've lit your kindling, you've pushed the door um, home and you've opened up your vent, you've screwed your black knobs on, you can hear that the fire is actually going in there, I can actually hear that it's, that it's uh, taking hold. You can double check that just by pulling the plug out, look in, sweet, you can put some more logs on, which I have um, prepared down the side here. Now look, you can put reasonable size um, sticks in here, you don't need to cut it, cut it down too much. Um, and then you basically just throw it in, I just place it over the fire. Um, two or three sticks, as you can tell, that's another big one. Um, just chuck that in. I'll put uh, two or three on for a start. And get right in there and sort of push it around. We do have handy enough a poker that the tubs come with, and you can actually just put the poker in and push it over if you're a bit scared to put your hand in there. But um, you know, while the fire is low like that, there's no chance of burning yourself. And then basically, you just put the plug back in and. Uh, what I do is go away and leave it for 15, 20 minutes and then come back and put some more on it and sort of load it right up. And then you can go away and leave it for an hour, three quarters of an hour. And, um, and when you come back, you've just actually got to give that water a bit of a stir, pull that cold water up from the bottom, um, which again, you know, we have the sieve. What I do is just pull my arm up a wee bit, sleeve up, sorry, and then uh, just pull that cold water up from the bottom 
and you've only got to do that a couple of times during the heat up process. So now I've come back and it's uh, the hot tub's at temperature. In fact, it's just that little bit too warm. I'm checking my, uh, my lovely rubber ducky here that you, the hot tubs again come with. Uh, they can actually come with a digital readout which shows you the temperature. I've given it a good stir up. For me, I like my tub at 38 degrees. Um, you know, it sort of depends between summer and winter, but in winter I like it at 38. Some people like it a bit colder, some people like it at 40, but I like it at 38, and this is reading 39. So to bring the temperature down, if you overheat it, it's the only thing you can do with the tub is overheat it. Um, and there's simply, the idea of this tap here is you just turn the tap on, run some cold water in, sort of stir it up a little bit more, keep an eye on the duck, and uh, get it down to the temperature that you prefer. Very simple and uh, easy to control. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the hot tub. It's uh, a perfect 38 degrees Celsius. Um, just myself in here now, but uh, you know, wife and boys normally jump in with me, so the boys are about my size. They fit in here more than comfortably. So uh, five to six people they hold is a nice number. Um, look, it's just a matter of being in here, relaxing, enjoying it. Uh, people often comment, what's the stainless steel like to, to um, be in? But look, it's just, you wouldn't even know you're actually within a steel hot tub. It's just so soft and smooth. Um, it's cone-shaped. It wraps around you. Your natural position is just like this and chilling back and just enjoying it. Um, the seat height is absolutely perfect. I'm sitting straight up and down on the seat now, and as you can see, my um, shoulders are well clear. If I want to go down deeper, you just sort of lean back and, and, uh, and drop yourself in. Um, my wife's quite a bit shorter than me, and this is a perfect sitting position for her as well. Right, so come time to drain it, the, um, the water's off. We've used it for three or four days. Um, we, we use no chemicals, uh, fresh water only. So uh, it's time to drain it after using it for a weekend. We've tried to make that as quickly um, draining time as possible, just like your bath inside your, your um, bathroom. You just open up that valve, full bore, um, and just let it run. It'll drain as quickly as a bath. It's fresh water. I live here in beautiful Wanaka, um, so I like to water my lawn with it. You can, um, there's a fitting that they come with, a BSP fitting. You can buy standard fittings from your, your um, local hardware shop, and you can connect fittings onto it, take it to a drain, or take it to other parts of your garden and water your garden with it. Right, so we've used the hot tub. We've we're, uh, opened up the drain valve. It's now ready to clean. Uh, for me, I, I just go into the kitchen and grab the um, trusty old dishwashing liquid and my dishcloth. I put a bit of dish uh, detergent into my cloth and then I just use the water in the tub as it's draining just to go around and clean that bath ring off. Um, it's pretty much the only thing that, that, uh, that needs cleaned. Being stainless steel, obviously it just cleans off so easily. Uh, this particular tub is three years old now and as you can tell, um, it's still like brand new and it'll stay that way forever.